What's going on everybody? Dave here, uh, working on the 2008 Ford Taurus X wagon, but this will probably be the same for many different Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury models. Uh, the problem was the main power outlet slash cigarette lighter that's usually right here was not working. Okay, now first, if you, uh, you know, if your front power outlet is not working, let's first check the fuse. Uh, page 270 in your trusty owner's manual that I happen to still have for this model. Uh, it's fuse number 13. PowerPoint instrument panel. And we go look at on the box here, number 13, right there. Looks like this one here, which has been replaced on mine already, which means the outlet itself was the problem because it definitely was. It had a lot of corrosion and whatnot in it, which is why the fuse was blowing anyway. So anyway, if you're looking for the front of the car, number 13 should be a 20 amp, this guy here. Okay, so... We should do this first, of course, you know, to, before you go tearing into your dash. But as you can see, definitely broken. Now, also, um, number 40 on your box right there, which has also already been used, there should be a spare 20 amp right there. Obviously, this one is gone because this car. Um, that this has been an issue for a while in this car, so I'm sure the previous owner tried the spare, it didn't work. They had to try a 10, it didn't work. So, you know, that's why we're tackling the actual problem. Unfortunately, I don't have a spare 20 amp, so I'm going to use a 15. It should be fine. And remember, these are the little, they're kind of small, you know, they're little tiny fuses. They're not like the uh, old style, which are like as wide as my finger. This one is, is much smaller, so I'll put links down below for the fuses as well. But we're going to put a 15 in it, and it should be fine. Now, looking at the old one up close, notice all the corrosion. Look at all this greenish stuff right here. It's completely corroded. Uh, which was why it was shorting out, basically. All that crap right down in there. So, yeah, if you were in a pinch, you might be able to clean this up. But you notice it's, it's really bad. So, there you have it. First, check the fuse. Then, you know, if that still doesn't fix your problem, then you replace this outlet. No big deal. And um, I'll show you real quick how to access it. It's really not that difficult. You know, anytime you need to get to anything in this little center console area, entertainment area, HC area, uh, all this stuff, very easy to get to. You don't need any tools or anything. Just pop up your little center cubby hole there, and then you just pull back on it with your hands. Just give it a good pull, and then slide your hands down, pull. Just keep pulling, basically. And it's good to have the shift knob pulled all the way back, too. So put the car, you know, in dry or in uh, run, pull your uh, shift lever back to the low position, then you can turn it back off. That way you'll have some clearance to pull this apart here. Anyway, and she comes right out like that. No big deal at all, but here is the connect actual connector for it. It's kind of a, uh, you know, it's kind of a T-shape. And that's how you'll know, you know, when you're, when you're shopping. I'll put a link down below for the actual replacement cigarette lighter. But it has like a cross shape or a T-shape, however you want to picture it that right there that's how you'll know and this the same piece fits a ton of different Ford Lincoln and Mercury models I mean a ton so it's no not difficult to find but I will put a link below for it anyway taking it out uh you know I mean I followed some other video advice on uh, using little 
using little uh, picks and things to try and spread out the, the little tabs. Because it's this black piece right here that actually holds it in place in the hole down here. I struggled with it, quite honestly. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not... I mean, I'm no master mechanic, but I'm not an idiot either. And I had problems getting this out without destroying it. So, whatever. It just did not cooperate. Anyway... As long as you don't damage you know this hole here you're okay because you're replacing this anyway all right and on the back side here it has a couple of notches in here that will need to line up with a couple of little tabs you see these little tabs on the back side of the new one they'll have to line up you know that, that's what will hold it in place and also notice it's got slots that have to be exact also as far as the trim ring versus the power outlet itself. So those are some things to keep note of that they have to line up. That way it'll click in place like you just heard. Okay, because when it clicks in place, it's in there. And the only way to remove it, if you flip it over, if you look inside the hole there, See that black square right there? There's one on each side. There's one on each side inside that chamber, and you have to get a pick down in there and push out on those little little tabs. That's how you actually will get it out of this trim ring. But it was difficult. I mean, I, I struggled with it, you know? It just didn't cooperate. And looking at it inside here, now, if you use a, an angled pick, you know, something like this, a small tool, you can get it down in there I can show it to you. There you go. You can get it in there and push outward. You just push outward on the little tab that'll be locked in place. You can push it out on each side, and then it'll slide down. You know, this guy will slide down here, and that's how it'll come out. So it has to be completely disconnected like this. All right, now something else to look at. This little tab right there, there's one on each side of the trim ring as well. It has to be pushed in slightly for it to click in place. Okay, so I'm going to have to use a little small screwdriver or sharp instrument or something, you know, just to get it, get it going in there. All right, now on the back side of it here, <clears throat> these little tabs that are sticking out, make sure they're in the slots, the slots of the actual large bezel itself okay and then you can just push her in that well, may be hard to see here just push it in make sure that all these little slots and things line up perfectly and it'll click in place you'll hear it if it doesn't click in place you know you don't have something right it everything clicks into place nicely when it is you know how it should be there we go so it's, you know, it's a little tricky, but not impossible. Just take your time doing it. Make sure everything looks correct. And then make sure you put all your wiring back together. You know, it's got all these miscellaneous little wires and whatnot. Make sure they're all fitted properly so you don't have to break this open again. The good thing about all the wiring back behind here, they can only go in one way. You know, they can't go in upside down or backwards or anything you know, as far as these connectors and everything so just make sure you've got them lined up properly and then to put the main bezel back in place you can just you know just want to do it evenly basically you know make sure that it's kind of even in there you don't want it to be all cocked one way or the other and then just gently push it in by hand make sure it just feels like it's going in properly and that's all there is to it just like that then we'll test her out here. Everything should be good. So this is the uh, 2008 Ford Taurus X. We have tons of videos on it. This, and I'll put a playlist link down below all the other fixes and maintenance and service and stuff we've done to this car. So just look for that link down below. And uh, 
Make sure you Google Horsepower House. We have an eBay store and Amazon store mostly with motorcycle-related parts and tools. <clears throat> we have a Facebook page. We have two YouTube channels. And if you want to support the channel even further, click the Join button down below, and you can hook up with us, you know, as far as a little small monthly subscription that greatly helps us out in providing decent content for you. And uh, that's it. My name is Becker Dave in East Cobb, Marietta, Georgia. Working on the 2008 Ford Taurus X. Y'all have a good day.